Okay, so we have a nice um, form here. It takes in the data and the form. It submits it, it puts it into our database. We should be happy. No, no, we should not be happy. Basically, we've opened up shop and said, anybody out there, any random stranger on the web, go ahead and put whatever you want in our database. That's not a good idea. Anytime you want to open up a form and let people put stuff in your database, you ought to validate and sanitize that data. What do I mean by that? Well, I could just go in here and put in something, something, and I want, I want uh, 666 scoops of chocolate and hit OK. It says, oh, my selection's been recorded. Awesome. But nobody really wants 666 scoops of chocolate, first of all. It's obviously spam or someone just messing around. Or maybe they just made an honest mistake and meant to say six and, they're, and they have bad hand control and they hit six three times accidentally. I've been there. I've ordered airplane tickets that way. It's bad. So it should be some kind of validation, right? And here you'll see, first of all, it's recorded the wrong value. It's recorded 255. Why is that? Well, you'll remember when we set up this database, this is a tiny int. The most it can do is 255 because we never expected more than that. But this is actually really bad. What if they really did want 666 and, and here they thought they've ordered it and we've said they had and it's actually only 255. So we need to we need to validate that input. So let's, let's first of all, just for uh, expedience sake, uh, move this into post, oops, post um, scoops. Take a, a copy of this out of the scoop, out of the post, and make it its own variable scoops. And then let's check and say if scoops scoops is um, more than say let's eight, seven, seven's good, uh, seven ice cream scoops. Then in that case we should um, echo something that says. Um, Something like uh, th that is way too many. Try again. And we should put that in tags because it's going into HTML just to be good. So if they do that, then we should we should tell them that's too many. That doesn't need parens, but that's okay. Um, and, uh, well, it actually, echo doesn't take parens, so I'm going to take those out. So if that's the case, then we'll do that. Um, and if it's, therefore, seven or less, then let's go ahead and make the query. Else, go ahead and make this query. Whoops, we got two there. We should only need one. And we'll indent that so we can see. So if it's more than seven, then put a thing. Otherwise, we can make the query. So we'll save that, and we will drop it in here. OK. Um, now let's give it another run. So it says this is what now it has does have this up here because that's just part of the template. We should probably pull that out. But we have that is way too many. Try again. And so it and if we look here, it hasn't actually done the insert. Um, it kept that one out. All right. Because it, it said that's bad. So that's that's a really bad response. It really ought to say, you know, go back and have a little red thing that says, oops, too many here. And we can you can do that with a little bit more complicated programming. You can say have a little flag here that's red that says you put too many scoops in this section. That's always a good thing to do to make sure that um, that people have input valid data. The other piece is let's go ahead and do this also for um, not just scoops, but for the other two variables, which are name and um, flavor. The other thing you should do is make sure that there is not an injection attack. And so there's something you can do to sanitize these using MySQL real uh, escape string. And what this does is it gets rid of some of the things you could put in a, a form that would cause uh, uh, people to be able to kind of get control of your database using a SQL string. And I'll make a link to some examples of how people might do that. Um, but these are, um, this kind of sanitizes these so that they are able to be put into your um, 
into your form without into your database without causing problems. So then we need to go ahead and change it to name, um, flavor, and scoops. So now we've both checked to make sure scoops are real and we've made sure that they're safe to be inserted. You should always do that with all your variables. Even if you think you know what you're getting, you should always make sure that you've sanitized them.